y'all. What's happening, y'all? Friday morning. You know what I mean? I just woke up this morning feeling all I need is camera. <laughs> nah, I'm fucking. I'm fucking. Nah, but yo, it feels good, man. You know, it just feels good to know that we're going into this season very, very competitive, you know, and I'm loving, I'm loving our fan base and I'm, I'm loving the family having these discussions like I saw who should start, uh, Kemba or, or Derek. I mean, honestly, I mean, I believe Kemba's starting, but does it really matter? You know, I mean, they both go get like 20 minutes each and then the the, 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 the core, uh, the bench is going to play some minutes. So, I mean, whoever is in the game in the fourth quarter in the last five minutes is the one in the game in the fourth quarter in the last five minutes. You know what I mean? It's, it's like, and yes, we are guaranteeing our livelihood to uh, some point guards with some knee issues. Yes, we are. And we're doing it triumphantly and proudly. Yes, yes, we are. (laughs) I mean, again, uh, folk is starting to wax a little poetically about Deuce. They've seen a couple of videos and things, and that's cool. And, I mean, listen, we have a reason to be excited. I mean, there's just no other way I can put that. We have a reason. You know, I mean, the front office did a great job locking up Julius for the next four years. You know what I mean? And yes, it is a team friendly deal, you know, thanks to to, to Julius. He's still getting his loot papers. Yes, indeed. But he's making sure that we're not cap strapped so we can continue to be flexible and make the team better while having that contract. I mean, if y'all, if, if, to me, there is literally no better indication of a difference in the way that players are viewing the Knicks. You got players willing to take less money to come here, and you got people willing to take less money to stay here. To me, that's that's wow. That is just wow on many levels, and you can't. There's no cheapening that. You know, there's there, there, you're not doing it. And Julius Randle is our star, our star. He is now getting paid like the star that he's trying and working to be. Look, I know it is the weirdest thing to go from an average player season before last. To, 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 to who we, we hope he remains and what he showed us to be this past year. But I feel like I've gotten to understand Julius Randle a little bit better since he's been here. And yes, his interviews and stuff where it's his words and stuff like that and it's coming from his point of view and all that, I get that. But Everything coming out about this young man, you know, in regards to his work ethic, his faith in, 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 in himself and in our organization. Dude, you know, this, yo, Julius is our guy, period. You, you know what I mean? And again, I said in another video earlier, and we're going to talk about it on the next quarter uh, tomorrow as well. But continuity man is something that we have not been used to having because we do not historically keep the majority of the players who play on our team from year to year you know we've especially in the last few years we've done a bunch of one year rentals that we didn't keep you know we swapped them out for for, for more rentals the next year and more rentals the next year etc etc so now we have a team. We've got guys locked in for more than one year. 
We have upgraded at the point guard position. And dude, Alfred Payton, good luck. I have heard that you are now a Phoenix son. Congratulations. You know, yeah, congratulations. Yeah, I mean, do your thing. Take care. We'll see you. You know, take it easy. Uh, be easy, be safe. You know, we appreciate what you tried to do for us here. And you out. And there we go. Uh, Reggie Bullock will miss your dogs for real. I dug you, but you know, the maps. Yeah. They, uh, they need they they need more shooting, I guess. You know, I mean with that big splash, uh t- Timothy uh, Timmy Hardaway Jr. signing. Woohoo. You know what I mean? Big things are going now. Watch out, Mads. Watch out, Mads now, but uh Yo, and I see that Kelly Oubre got a new job with 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 uh, Charlotte. So that tells me Charlotte ain't going nowhere. Yeah, I am. I am. I'm wildly out on Kelly Oubre, and I'm really, really glad that he is not uh, a dick right now. Just saying, that's my own personal vibe. You know what I mean? If he came, I'd support it, but he didn't come, so now I don't have to, and that's awesome. Uh. <laughs> Yo, uh, I, 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 I don't hear that Dennis got a gig yet, though. That's probably got to be the next uh, shoe to drop this. The uh, Dennis Schroeder shoe. Yeah, they just repaved the uh, highway out here, and I was just going some real smooth part of the highway, but then that part ended because they ain't done yet. <laughs> so I just did the rough patch of the regular highway that was here yesterday. <laughs> but I can't find they did some good work yesterday. Uh, well, I, I guess yesterday. Because I didn't notice that smooth road until just now. So they did some really good work last night. They just got to finish. All right. So back to it. Back to it. Summer League is starting on Sunday. So we get to see IQ and Obi again with Quentin Grimes and Deuce McBride and Jericho Sims and our our new Latvian or whoever that guy is. (laughs) Yo, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm very sad for Kevin Knox, unfortunately, man, because... You know, COVID ain't no joke, and I'm hoping he's vaccinated. So if he does actually have it, the symptoms aren't that bad for him. And if he doesn't have it, that's even better. But the contact tracing, you know, all that good stuff. I I just knew that this was an opportunity for him to get back in the gym, work on some things. And I know he was looking forward to doing that as well. So I feel for him. But all this, oh, now all of a sudden, let's, he, so he's got to be going to Indiana. Really? I mean, do y'all get that people want to trade for value? You know what I mean? Let's let's just keep it a buck. So if our guy can't run, and historically he hasn't been that great, why in the world do you think we're going to be able to put him in a trade for Miles Turner? Like, come on, guys. L and... Real quick, when you're driving and you're behind somebody and you're trying to come out the lane and we both trying to come out the lane, don't try to get in front of the person you're behind. That's crazy. That's how accidents happen. This is your driving safety moment from your brother, Coach Fox. All right. So, again, man, uh, Kevin Knox, I actually feel like I'm not out on the guy. I mean, honestly, just asking to be in a summer league tells me more about that kid and the fact that he wants to be here than anything. You know, I'm not going to run out on him because COVID hit. You know, I mean, golly, fan base, yo. Why do we always got to find a new guy to hate? A new guy to, you know, be completely out on. Like, you know what I mean? Frank is gone. Elf is gone. Can, we need to turn that page. I don't want Kevin Knox to be that new guy. Because, you know, that's not right. 
You know what I mean? I saw a dude yesterday just completely eviscerating Kevin Knox for literally no reason. You know, I'm I'm not in on that stuff, man. Y'all y'all keep that stuff to yourselves, or or you know, just keep me out. If y'all go do that to Kevin Knox, keep me out of it for real. Because nah, we're not doing that, and we need to stop doing that. Really, like I know everybody gonna have their favorites, but we don't need where our love to hate either. Like nah. So anyway. Yeah, so we got Quentin Grimes and, and Deuce McBride. We really get to see them. Uh, so far, the Summer League, the, the first the first group in the Summer League that popped off this week, it's been entertaining. You know what I mean? Hearing good things about Jonathan Kanima. Uh, yeah, 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 Jonathan Kun, Kanima. Uh, Kun, yeah, him. Now I feel like, I, I, I feel like... Uh, Kendrick Perkins right now, and I feel terrible. You know what I mean? But I'm driving. I got stuff up in my for work, so and I don't get paid to do this. <laughs> you know what I mean? This, this is this is me. You know what I mean? In my off time, that dude get paid to do this. He got notes in front of him that say how people's names are and stuff. You know what I mean? And how do he mess up Moses Moody? I mean, that's not that hard. I mean, oh fella, <laughs> yo. Alright, so we will definitely check y'all out tomorrow. Danny B will be in effect. Uh, you know what I mean? I got a special message from State that I'll be airing for the people them tomorrow. So hang out, get involved with that. Uh, if y'all did not see the Candid Corner free agency episode, please go check that out. It was fire. You know, Mo Murphy broke it down. Walker Bailey, I can't wait to uh, check you out on your college basketball podcast starting in September. I mean, it was a lot of great information that came down. It was a, it was a good time, man. It was a good time, and the LA Lakers skit is 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 a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. All right, enjoy your Friday. Uh, if anything else newsworthy pops off and, uh, regarding the Knicks today, I'll let y'all know. But Honestly, I doubt it. Uh, Theo Pinson, I believe he's back on a two-way. I believe I saw Wolves drop that because I know uh, Berman and spilt it. But, you know, it's official when I see Rosenchan. What would your chance to say? So there we go. Uh, Frank Noakino will be the next ball I see drop, meaning being signed elsewhere. I hope him, I wish him nothing but the best. I really, really do. I really like the kid. You know, uh, I think we've wasted a lot of time talking about who was right and who was wrong as far as his tenure here. But now that tenure's done and it's a new day and we got to turn pages and we got to go, we, we got to move on and go forward with the team we got, man. You know? And I honestly feel like this team is something. And we're going to make some more noise. We we might get back to fourth. I don't know. We'll see. You know, but I do know. It's it's, it's funny folks said that yesterday, uh, and I agree 1,000%. We were out on a guy in Julius Randle. Or George, some folk were. Some folk trying to trade everybody, though. But still, we, we got a guy who was the most approved player of the year. First time All Star, first time playoff appearance, and we had such a tough go at it at the starting point guard. So imagine how much easier things will be on fellas this year with better point guard play. I mean, that's just it in a nutshell. And, you know, hopefully everybody stays healthy. And. We have a really, really, we, we have the season that we think we're going to have, and I do think we're going to have a great season. You know, my man, Jay Ski jumps out there with 50 to 55 wins. I don't know just yet, Capo. I really don't know. You know what I mean? I'm still kind of hovering between the 40 and 45 win range. You know what I mean? Just even if we win four or five more games than we won last year, it's a better. It, it, it's, we're still ticking forward and having a better season. So, 
We'll know more soon, though, ladies and gentlemen. The season starts in October. So preseason, well, training camp will be towards late September. And summer league starts Sunday. So we're going to get a little bit of a glimpse of our rooks this week. And then we'll get to the training camp stuff by next month. And then the NBA will be back, y'all. And we'll be right back to rooting for our brothers, man. Can't wait. Nick fans, always love, always respect. Enjoy your weekend. I will holler.